Hey everyone, your local gamer here. Um, I wanted to make this video now because I don't know when I'm going to get it out. Um, but I will eventually. Um, if you don't know already, I am trying to beat a level called Troll Machine as a jump from nine circles, which is it's pretty hard, but. So far, I have 86 times 3, and 46 to 100. So, I, uh, I also have about almost 11,000 attempts, and I've been playing the level for about 3 to 4 months now. Now, I know this video might not seem ideal that I'm making it before I beat the level, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a long while before that even happens. So I'm just going to make it now. Um, this is my... Uh, these are my full opinions on every single part in Troll Machine. So, the first cube... Or no, not really the first cube. Like, the first part. Like, 0 to 17. It's not bad. But... I'm, I guess it does take a little bit to learn. It's not really that hard. It's like... I do like how it immediately kicks you into the level. It, like, gets you pumped up for what's yet to come. Um, now, of course, the click pattern is easy. Because the entire level is click sync based. But there are some holds here and there. That might be tricky. And if you really aren't really... If you're not too careful, you might just struggle with here a little bit. Um, next, you have Vitro's part, which is 17 to 32. I remember this part is was kind of like a filler part to me. But as I've been playing this a lot more, I've been struggling with this part. Mainly the click at 20 for... No apparent reason, which is the click straight after the dual ball. The transition is just super bad. Um, but the part overall is not that bad for a filler, in my opinion. So, you know, it, it gets the job done, I think. Um, Vitros did not do a bad job with making the part. In my opinion. So. It's pretty good. It, it's there. Not much to say. Alright. And then next we have the. Uh, the gray spider. At 32. Which is. Kind of a break part. Not really. I mean, well, yeah, kind of, because in the sense that it's slower than all the other parts, and you're not clicking as fast, but it is more precise. I mean, it, it is spider. You don't really have a lot of freeway to really save yourself if you mess up. You, If you mess up, you mess up. Back to the start. Um, I do like... The, uh, the glitching effects on the structures when you get towards the end of the section. I think it looks pretty cool. I don't know. Maybe that's just a personal thing. Um, yeah, no. The part looks pretty good. It gets the job done. It's kind of like a break part before the build-up to the duel. And speaking of build-up, that is the next part. It is, I think, 40 to 46. I don't remember. I think it's like... It's after the spider and up to the duel. It's somewhere in between there. Um, I'd like to call this the, the build-up section. Because it is the part right before the, the very hype duel. So... The click pattern of this part can be very tricky to some people. Despite 
not being that much learning, but... The gameplay was done in a way to where it still looks confusing, despite being um, very easy to learn. And I think that's actually kind of cool, in my opinion. And then after that, it kind of it slows down as you like go into the duel, and then yeah, no, the duel. Uh, I have a lot to say about this part. Um, this maybe is the most confusing part, if not one of, because of just, just looking at a video clip will confuse the hell out of you, and <laughs> it's... But it's done in a way, like much like the build-up, it's done in a way to where it looks confusing, but it's still fun. Um, I remember when I first started playing Troll Machine, I could not do this duel for the life of me. And it made me want to play the level much, much less. But, you know, practice makes perfect, and over time it got quite simple um some of the clicks can be annoying because you know at this point the level is more a little bit more fast paced a little bit more tricky there is also a lot of speed changes in this part like it switches back and forth and back and forth which can be super tedious to those who are not familiar with it um Overall, this is where the song is at, at its hype, like the most hype part of the song, and this dual section in particular matches it pretty well, in my opinion, so, I mean, there you go. And then next you have the, uh, the break part at 62, um... It's kind of a 50-50 for me, in my opinion. Um, this You either love it or you hate it. There's no in-between. But I feel like for me, it is kind of in-between because it is yet another break slash build-up part to another fast duel. We'll get to that later. Um... It's not bad. It can be annoying, though, because some of the clicks are just genuinely stupid. Like, some some of the particular timings or particular placements of orbs or clicks can be very inconsistent to those who are trying to beat it and are just not good at the break part at 62. Um... A notable example for this, for me, is the uh, the first three clicks of the break part. Because you have to, like, immediately tap three times in, a f in fast succession to get to the first dash orb, and, like, and then all the other stuff after that. Which can be super annoying after you get past the duel and everything, and it can be very sudden because of the transition after the cube. Um... It sounds confusing, but the, if you play it, or have played it, it's usually not that bad. So, it's kind of like an okay. And then after that, you got the duel after the break part, not before. It's... This duel hasn't been my favorite, but it's not... The worst by a mile. As far as I'm aware, this part belongs to Troll Machine. Not the level, the creator. Um, it's not bad, but it's not great. Yeah, no, much like the break part, it can be super inconsistent. Depending on just basically how good you are at it. 
Um, some of the clicks can be super annoying, especially the spider at 82 and the fast little click pattern at 83 to 85. Right before Lagnog, which we'll get to later. Um, it It's another kind of confusing part. Because when you look at a video of it or you play it, you're like, wait, how would I ever do this consistently? But again, practice makes perfect. You'll eventually get good at it. And it's kind of been the same for me. But I still find it quite challenging because some of the sections later into the part are just super annoying to me. I don't know, maybe that's just a me thing. Alright, and then last and definitely least, we have Lagnug's part, which I... I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it with every fiber in my soul. And that makes me seem like I'm a rude person, but as someone who's died there three... No, wait. Hang on. As far as I'm aware, 85 counts as his part too, so... Four times from zero. I can confidently say that this is maybe the worst part in the level. Mainly because it is the most confusing. And the click pattern is just arranged in a way where it could never get consistent. Unless you're good at timing things. And as someone like me, I'm not. I, I've been getting around it more as I've been trying to go on with it, trying to beat it more and more the last couple of days. It's been getting more consistent. I have done the break part to 100 twice again, two, or not twice in a row, but two more times. So clearly Lagnug is getting more consistent for me, but this video isn't about me. It's about my overall opinion on the level that I've been playing for four and a half months. Um, I don't, I don't really care for this part. In fact, I probably just dislike it. I don't care for it. If I were to pick playing, if I, if I were asked whether I would rather want to play. Uh, if I had the choice to be, if I had the choice to play Misfire for 10 hours straight with no breaks, or beat Lagnug's part 100 times, I would have beaten Misfire twice by now. <laughs> and that says a lot, because it's Misfire. But the video isn't about Misfire. Like I've said, it's about Troll Machine. Um, enough yapping, enough blabbering. Overall opinion on Lagnox part, it sucks. It does. I'm sorry. No offense. This is just my opinion. I hate it. <laughs> and after that, you just get a auto end screen and you beat it. So, to sum everything up, because this video is already way too long... Um, the level is not necessarily the worst, but it's not the best by a mile. Um, if I were to rank every part on a tier list, um, the beginning like, the entirety of the beginning in general would probably be, like, a B or a C. The first duel would probably be a B or an A. The break part would be, like, a B or a C. The end duel, not the end duel, but the duel before Lagnug, after the break part, would probably also be a B or a C. I'm not good with opinions. And then Lagnug's part would be an F. <laughs> so, um... Overall opinion, if you want to beat Troll Machine, go ahead. I think that anyone could really beat this level. Because it 
it does get consistent. It is a sync level. That's the whole purpose of it. But my overall opinion on this level, despite having not even beaten it yet, it's okay. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. It's kind of in between. It's probably like a, a 5, 6 out of 10. Um, I want to thank everyone for watching this video. I don't really make long-form videos like this. At least not very often, because uh, they do take a bit to get out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And have a great day, have a great afternoon, have a great night. See you later. Your local gamer out.